Hello guys, on this channel I have quite a long history of videos, the channel started back in 2017 and I decided to reshoot some of the older popular videos with newer versions of Laravel, with new thoughts and stuff like that. And one of the victims of that, the first victim, is the import CSV video which was published back in 2017, so almost four years ago, with Laravel 5.5. And I decided to reshoot this as a demo project with Laravel 8 with the latest version of Laravel Excel package and in this video I will demonstrate you what this repository does. That repository is public, Laravel 8 imports CSV and basically you have this CSV file, then you can match the fields and import that into a table. The design is Laravel Breeze or in fact it's Laravel Breeze Pages Skeleton which is a free repository and I had a video about that pretty recently and I will link that in the description below. And let's take a look how it works. So you have that CSV file. In my Sublime I will open comma separated file with first name, last name and email. And in the database you have a structure of the database for first name, last name and email and timestamps. So when you upload that file you can specify whether the file contains header row or not. In my case it does. And when you submit there is a temporary data saved in the database to show you what column matches what field by default. It's trying to guess it but you can choose other fields. So for example, Povilas and Taylor are first name, but you can choose, for example, last name and switch those. And then by submitting, it actually imports the data. So at this point, the data is not in the contacts yet, but when I click submit, it is imported from the temporary table, which I will show in a minute. And as you can see, first name and last name is switched. So this is how it works. Now, what do we see inside the code? So the routes is contact controller index for the form and for the table of contacts. And in the contacts index blade, all we have is a form to the route import parse with CSV file using the blade components from Laravel Breeze as well. So CSV file to import, then it lands in the route of import controller and there are two methods, parse import and process import. Parse import uses, first there's a validation, so form request whether CSV file is a file actually, and then if we have the header, so that checkbox, remember, then we have the headings and we use Laravel Excel function of heading row import. So this will give us the headings and then we use Excel to array with context import class. So Laravel Excel works with specific classes for the import and that with heading row is pretty important. So we get the headings and the data. And if we don't have that header row, we don't even need that Laravel Excel package. We can do request file and use PHP function called str get CSV. So we have that data and then we save that data into the database into a temporary database table called CSV data. And we create the file name, the header, whether it's one or zero, and then we JSON encode the data. So let's try again and I will show you if we import that user CSV, we submit, let's take a look at the database. So that table of CSV data contains all the data. So email, last name, first name, so that CSV is in here in CSV data in the temporary table. And then visually we show only first two rows. So again, if we go back to the browser, so first two rows are shown visually from the CSV. So user would understand what are the fields and would be able to match them. And then import fields is the blade file where you actually match those fields. So for each of the data under the table, the last row is for each of the columns and you have the config of what DB fields are by default. So at the bottom of config app PHP, you have these by default, but then you can change them and they will be back as fields with the key and they would land on another controller method, which is called process import. So there's parse and there's process. With process, we get the data, we decode that, and then for each of that data, we are doing for each of those fields, but the values of those fields are dynamic. They are not the same. They are taken from the request fields array with specific field or specific index. And that's it, we save the contact. So that's it, a pretty simple demo application to match the fields. I'm not sure how it would work for a bigger amount of data. However, if you save a huge CSV in that CSV data, that could probably slow down the performance. Also creating the contact one by one is not that efficient. So you could potentially transform that into one array and call the insert function of the query builder instead of eloquent. So there's room for improvement for the performance, but you get the idea, you parse the CSV, you show that on the screen, the user chooses the actual final fields, 
and they are important. The repository is free on GitHub, the link will be in the description below, but if you want to have that as a module inside of the admin panel where you would use whatever fields, so that demo repository is specifically for contacts and for three fields. But if you want that for any admin panel, we have that inside of our quickadminpanel.com as a module called CSV import. So if you install that CSV import, then you can go to any of your CRUDs with any of the structures and for example, edit the CRUD and tick the checkbox of CSV import and then the same functionality would appear for any of the CRUDs. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.